Welcome to another video with Outdoors with Dutch. I'm Dutch, it's my wife Jen, my son Tristan. Uh, today's video, we're taking our Springer Spaniel, uh, Nellie Mae, out to the game lands to chase pheasants and squirrels and rabbits and birds and whatever she can get her nose on. Whatever she finds. Um, we're, we don't have our German Shepherd with us because she tends to uh, jump all over Nellie when she's out running and you know, play the dominant dog with her. So we're just taking the little one this time so she can really do her thing as a hunting dog. Um, yeah, I did a video a couple months ago uh, and I had a little piece in there that I need to lose some weight. At the time I was about 270. I was just off of having off the whole summer with the back injury and put on all kind of weight. And uh, since then, here it is March, and I've lost 30 pounds. Uh, my ultimate goal is to lose another 20 pounds and get down to 220. So, um, and Tristan, on Friday at school, two days ago, busted his chin open and had to get stitches for the third time on his chin. What'd you do with that? Where's your... Where'd you hit it? Uh, I don't know if you can see it. It's like got a band-aid on his chin. Just touched it. So. It felt pretty good. Four yeah. stitches this time. He had to get the other two times. So I think one time he had two stitches and then three one. stitches. Now this time he's got four stitches. And it's not the same scar. It's a different scar. So he's going to have a neat looking he, chin. Here's Miss Nellie Mae with her head out the window. She thinks she's running at 45 miles an hour. I love when dogs do that because they think they're just so fast. Are you a good girl, Nellie? No? <laughs> okay, as you can see, we're at the game lands. They went through with some kind of shrub cutter or something. This used to be a whole lot thicker in through here. whole lot thicker. <laughs> Come on, girl. Go get him. Go on. Go get him, May. Come on, May May. Come on. There she goes. It's a little muddy out here. Yeah, I think you wish you wore boots. This is our first time getting Nellie out here for this kind of thing to look for birds and squirrels and really get her nose into the action, get that sniffer working. And she's a little lost as to what to do. She's just kind of hopping around like a deer and not really sniffing a whole lot. Not like I thought she would be. I think when she gets the scent of something, then she'll be all over it. When she figures out there's something out here for her to get, she'll be a whole lot more active into it and then if anyone has any pointers on how to get them acclimated to to the shooting of guns so she don't take off for the next county if she does get something up and i shoot at it so if anyone has any ideas for that let me know who knows maybe that comes natural too that they don't run from that kind of stuff it seems to be like she's a pretty good natural hunter though go get them get the birdie go get the birdie uh-huh, go get him. Go get him. Who knows, there might not even be any pheasant left out here. I know they stock it every year. But who knows where, how many are left out here. Go get the birdie. Go on, May. Go on. She's in there working. She just flushed a couple robins out. But this is, uh, like I said earlier, they stocked this with pheasants. So there could be a pheasant or two still in here. Come on, May. Here she comes. Go on. Go in there, girl. Go get them. Get the birdie. Go on. 
it's that time of year where you can tell spring's coming. The robins are getting here. Daylight savings was last night or early this morning. Spring's just around the corner. Second favorite time of the year. My first favorite is the fall. Oh, there goes another robin. Go get him, May. I think she's getting tired. Go get him. Get in there. And coming up on a field of cut corn up here. Maybe we'll get a bird out of there. An actual cock bird. Come on, baby. Get the birdie, May. Come on, May May. Come on. Come on, May May. Get the birdie. May, you gotta, you gotta get in front of me. Come on. Come on up here. The sign say state game propagation area entry prohibited. I guess that doesn't account for dogs. Oh well. Red briar. Red briar. Go get him, May. Get in there. Some kind of scat. It's some kind of animal crap. Scat. They call it scat. So we are at a new area. We got done uh, with the game lands down, well, actually north of here a little ways. And as we were coming out, there was a group of people. All these people were showing up. And then one guy asked about the hunting in the area. I didn't know a whole lot about it, but uh, my wife said, that's a hunting group or a hiking group. So I was like, you think? So we went and asked, and sure enough, it's the Lancaster Hiking Club or Hiking Group. So I'm gonna look them up. Because uh yeah, I love hiking, obviously. Um so we're up here in this wooded plot, a little little way south of where we were, and letting let Nellie do some more running. Cause she's covered in mud, believe it or not. So we're gonna let her run and get get dried out. As you can see, we're right next to Route 76, the PA Turnpike. It's only 150, 200 yards to our, our left over here. Um, yeah, so far it's a beautiful day. Early spring, Pennsylvania. Come on, May. What are you, a squirrel? Come on, Belle. Good girl. Come here, baby. Come on, Nellie. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. You want to go get him? Go get him. Come on. We're at our third location, a place called Dinosaur Rock. Um, yeah, I'm gonna include this. I usually wouldn't because it's just a quick stop, but it's, uh, it's a classic example of uh, how you get an awesome natural formation of rock. I mean, it, it's awesome. But throughout the years, people have been out here and just spray painted all over it all over this thing and it totally takes away from how, how really cool it is 
with all that on there. You'll see, I'll do a video when we get down here of it. So here's what I'm talking about. Graffiti everywhere. All over this big, awesome rock formation. It's all over. A lot of it's vulgar, as you can see. And you bring your kids out here and then you gotta explain to them why people do this and act like idiots. But it is really a cool sight once you get past the paint. Sorry for the glare. Trying to get a good picture of the rock without the glare. See how it looks like a dinosaur? And that's why they call it dinosaur rock. Where's Tristan? He's back there somewhere. So I wanted to give you a little scale as to the size of this thing. Probably better if he was down there, but he's five foot tall. There's May. And there's the rock. Here and you might see that little log right there. Well, I climbed up that, and once I got like right up here, I used this, I pushed up, and then and I'm 